12.9 seconds, enough time for someone to win the faceoff and create a transition opportunity quickly. So don't be surprised for the quick attack. If Catawba wins, probably will go to Cole Fanzo. If Queens wins, look for Griffin Steckmiller. Here is Steckmiller with the ground ball. 10 seconds. Steckmiller moves on in. Wants to shoot. Has a chance. Fires. Scores. Griffin Steckmiller in transition to make it 8-4 late in the first half. Quinn Talent. Now on the feed. Full steam ahead for Reed Murphy who scores. Top shelf cross side of the net. Murphy has two goals. There's one back for the Royals. Royals trying to strike from behind. Here's Eric Fitz. Let's it go. He scores. Eric Fitz with a snipe from the right side of the cage. And it's 11-5 Queens. Second half coming your way here in men's lacrosse between Queens and Mars Hill on the Queen Sports Network. The Royals lead 11 to three and begin the third quarter. Man up for another five seconds on a two-man advantage. Trying to get a shot away before that. Ryan Kearney with the big save, even with the crossbar. Still another 40 seconds man up as Mars Hill committed two late first half penalties. That rolled over, but now Kearney certainly will be in no hurry. They get the ball moving, trying to run out the rest of this penalty time. I'm Brett Williams. Thanks for coming along today on the Queen Sports Network. First of two games between Mars Hill and Queens. Opportunity Kearney there, denying Griffin Steckmiller in transition. Justin Swick will take it right back. Queens an opportunity still to go man up for another 11 seconds. Here comes Swick. Little backhanded pass. Reed Murphy wasn't ready for it. Seen a couple of those today from Queens. Eric Fitz the first. Now Justin Swick with the stick wizardry. Man up time over, but open in front. Swick ducks, dodges, and scores. All kinds of action there to open the second half. And eventually it's Justin Swick to put it home. Second goal of the day for Justin Swick. And that takes him up to 13 on the year. One behind Quinn Talent for the team lead. So the stop from Kearney, then the steal by Steckmiller. Another stop from Kearney, then the steal from Swick, and eventually open in front one-on-one. -on -one, tough for a goaltender to stop those. So far in this one, shots are 35 to 16 Queens. Ground balls 20 to six in favor of the Royals. And Drew Flack has been dominant on faceoffs. Has won 14 of 16. Now he has it here, far side of the box. Now on behind. Keelan Pilon, he has two looking for the hat trick and he's got it. This time did the work himself. After taking a pair of assists earlier from Reed Murphy, works his way from behind, a little wrap around to make it 13-3. And Pilon now climbing the Royals goal chart into double figures himself now with 10. Quinlan Blackman has also gotten involved in face-offs for Mars Hill. Fourth different one today. This time it's Noah Landrio who's taken the most at eight. And with this awarded to Mars Hill, he is now two for those eight. Queens lead is back to 10 for the first time since it was 11 to one. Now the Lions will set up offensively trying to claw their way back in once again. And the Lions are just three years removed from being conference champions. Had consecutive one-goal wins over Queens and Lenore Rhine right here at the complex. Was a longtime host of the semifinals and finals for lacrosse. Not this year, as Wingate will hold that honor. Again, the way the conference tournament works, 
as the top two teams get a bye. Seeds three through six, so three teams won't make the tournament, but three through six will play six at three, five at four, much like an NFL conference playoff situation. And the final four will all go to Wingate. So Queens will only play a playoff game here at home if they are the three or four seed. Home field advantage nice, but even nicer if you're the one or two and get to bypass that round entirely. Time will tell. Far side for the Royals, almost picked it up and shot. Reed Murphy will shoot and miss high. Here's Max Costello. Picks it back up. Bouncer. Trickles out of bounds, recovered by Quinn Talent. Costello. Adelaine didn't take it. Tariq Harris, pushed hard by Tremaine Hill from behind. Ground ball almost to center. Max Morgan had it, then lost it. And working in transition from our sales, Kyle Dozy. He earned it. Team leader in ground balls and cause turnovers gets the job done. Now Dima Ferreira will settle things down for the Lions offense. Four minutes and 15 seconds gone here in the third quarter. From Dixon Field at the Queen Sports Complex. Shot misses from Alex Lipsky, one of three goal scorers today for the Lions. Jake Trafton. He also has a goal, as does Connor Fernandez. Spencer Andrews now wanted to whip one. Didn't get it away. Now loses it. All kinds of defensive problems given to him by Alan Curtis. Shot comes. Before that got to Valenza, looks like it hit the long pole of Ryan Bellamy. Ferreira. Getting nailed multiple times by Jackson Hall. On behind they go, looking in front. Jake Coleman got in the way, now he has it. Here's Coleman, a lot of space to work with. Coleman into the box. Looking for someone in front, now goes to Reed Murphy behind the net. Into the box comes Sean Mills. As the rain's starting to pick back up a little bit. Still could be very well classified as a drizzle, but a steadier and more prolific one. Near side to Justin Swick, back up top, Eric Fitz. Out of Swick again. To the left, shoots, didn't have a good angle. Here's Keelan Pilon. Leads all scores with a hat trick on the day. Murphy right back to Pilon. Fitz to Swick. Look for Swick, blocked by Kearney. Ryan Kearney, a preseason second team all South Atlantic Conference netminder. Logged the vast majority of this and the last two seasons in net. 
Only made five appearances his freshman year, which was that championship year for Mars Hill. But he's been their stalwart between the pipes ever since. And he stonewalls Justin Swick this time. In transition, Eric Fitz snags it and keeps possession for Queens. Fitz has done some impressive things with the stick today. Now he has it. Looking up top for Costello, who's decked, and that'll be a penalty. One minute penalty assessed to Kyle Dozy for the illegal cross check. Check that Spencer Andrews. Queens 0 for 2 on the man up. Justin Swick. Up top, Quinn Talents. Far side, Kevin Berry. Well, they work their way around. Jesse Oliver for a moment. Now Swick changes places with Murphy. Off the stick of Oliver. Ground ball loose. Chase Preddy Pearsall trying to provide some pressure, but Oliver wins it. Up top, and a shot comes high from Talent. 31 seconds left to the man up. 7.15 in the quarter. A little handoff. Who has the ball? That was a well-executed fake. Quinn Talent up top. On to Swick. Back to Talent. On to the far side, Barry. Now downward they go. Swick comes back up top. He'll take the pass. Works it down to Barry. Looking across the way. Oliver Bouncer. It's in the net. And the Royals strike man up. Oliver's third of the day. So he joins Kevin, uh, excuse me, Keelan Pilon. In the hat trick club. And the Royals have their largest lead. 